are you struggling with people? The number one challenge that I've seen with entrepreneurs as they grapple to scale up their enterprise is people. And in the last video, we saw how important a second line of management is. But overall, people struggle on that particular front. So there are three specific challenges that they struggle with. Number one, hiring the right people. Number two, building a formidable team that's able to independently grow growth. And lastly, retaining that particular talent. So I'm going to share some very specific ways in which we can do that in this video, which is a third in the series. So the number one way in which you can address a majority of these people related issues is making sure that you have an employee engagement system in place. And if you're able to invest in a total rewards mechanism, then you will find that you have a 15% higher employee productivity than companies that don't. And that's what a recent EY report was able to show. So there are three specific ways in which we can look at employee engagement. The first one is making sure that we have the right people in place. So you, have, you need to have a hiring process which is able to get across the long-term vision and get your people excited about it. Secondly, you've got to understand what are the aspirations of your people and make sure that you're aligned with that to show how by meeting the company's goals, the company's visions, they're able to also somehow Im positively impact their aspirations. And number three, the best advice that I've got as, by, as far as people go is this, hire slowly, fire quickly. Make sure that you have a very specific way in hiring people and invest in that particular process. It may take time and effort to do that, but don't cut corners there because it's really important. Imagine if you were hiring a partner, just not an employee. And tomorrow, if this person's going to be a partner in your business, what are the kind of interviews and kind of things that you'd want to assess? So these are some of the key things that you need to have in place. Second thing, you need to make sure that you're in, a, in uh, investing in upskilling. You've got to define the key results areas for each particular role. And then you've got to have an assessment and you're able to figure out what you require training for. And you've got to make sure that you bridge the gap. One of the key things is you want to make sure that you're helping your employees become more successful in the job. If you're able to do that, then you're able to get that much more productivity. And finally, we come to the third part, which is making sure that you're able to retain talent. And for this, you need to have a total reward system. It's not just ha making sure that you have uh, uh, you know, a salary package in place, but there are many other things that come into play here. So take, for example, you have a recognition system in place. This is an important way in which you're able to retain and engage talent. Do you have a process of you know, performance review and feedback? So this makes sure that you know, everyone knows how well they're doing and you need to have a process of continuous feedback. In this particular way, you're able to make sure that people are really engaged and this retains talent. So these are some simple ways in which you can address your people challenges. I've done another video which I'm providing a link for here in terms of what are the three specific things that I look for when I'm hiring people and have a look at that. You'll find that it will also help you. Thank you.